The preceding period of disunity, the era known as the Three Kingdoms, was a horrible blight upon our land. The marches of the huge armies were especially hard on the farmers. Their fields were trampled and their livestock was scattered and lost. As a result, the food chain was broken and has yet to be fully repaired. In many cities of this great empire, citizens still go to sleep with empty bellies. More foodstuffs are desperately needed. As usual, our beneficent emperor has the perfect solution, for he has decreed that agricultural colonies should be established along the western border. The food produced by these settlements will go far to feed hungry masses. Your recent revitalization of the empire's capital has put you first in line for an important new assignment. Establish an agricultural community along the far reaches of the Yellow River at a place called Lanzhou. The emperor will ensure that workers for the fields arrive soon. The terrain is rough, but the soil will welcome the sharp blade of the plow. Keep a vigilant eye on the Kunlansang, the mountain range to the southwest. There have been persistent rumors of a fierce new tribe of barbarians from a land called Tibet. The spirit of the great Taoist hero general, Guan Di, can now be summoned. His services might be very useful to the defenses of your city. G'day mates and welcome back to Emperor. Looks like we're heading out and doing a farming mission, which is just what I love. Love me some farming. Uh, these numbers seem pretty high though, and with a population of 2,000 and the comment, uh, where was it, that the terrain is rough, does make me a little bit worried. Let's have a look at what we're facing here. Um, that doesn't seem too bad. Actually, it doesn't seem too good either. Um, oh shit. Yeah, okay, this is not good at all. So we've got salt all the way up here, it's a little bit far away, I think, because... Um, I could probably put farms over here, but I won't be putting any uh, housing. This is where the housing blocks are going to have to be. And there is bugger all space for them. It doesn't seem impossible. I can get probably... Um, let's have a quick look. Are there? There's an entrance there. There and there. Okay, so it's easy to get up here. So I can probably put the, um, the food distribution buildings up here. And, uh, and put two housing blocks down there. I think I'm going to need two. Probably the big one there and a, and a smaller one here, perhaps. Uh, might be a little bit tight, but that'll allow me to... Hmm. Yeah, that'll allow me to get the workers I require. I might even try to do it with one big one, but uh, if I need... I'm going to need a lot of farms to get that much. And a population of 2,000 means I'll probably need second housing block anyway. Um, it's going to be tight. I think I'm going to struggle. Let's have a look at what we're growing. Uh, oh, okay. So we've got four food types here, but... Give me a second. Soybean, cabbage, not wheat. Soybean, cabbage, will it meet? Okay, so we don't need soybean. Soybean is not going to be useful for us, and we're not going to be placing any elite houses anywhere, because they just don't have the space for them, and uh, I can't set up the industry to support them, like silk and whatnot. So... We're not going to be growing any... what was it? Soybean. We're not going to be growing any soybean here at all. So that can... Uh, that's irrelevant. We're going to be doing wheat, millet and cabbage. We can grow hemp, which is good, and we can grow lacquer. So where are we in the world? We are in the west somewhere. So we can grow lacquer. Looks like Lhasa, which I'm supposing is the capital of Tibet, will... Can't interact with them, but they might come and... Oh, I can't interact with anything. Oh, hang on. Yeah, I can conquer them, but I can't conquer them. Okay. So I can't interact with them yet. They will come into the world at some point, I imagine, and will try to invade me by the sounds of it. Do I have any trades? Anybody? Nope. But they'll buy lacquerware, a tiny little bit of it. So I can make that. I, can I, I can't grow tea. They can buy with a salt. That might be worthwhile. And the silk I can probably import from somebody and sell onwards to Kashgar. So, a few options here. I can't fish by the looks of things. And let's have a look at our gods. They mentioned a new god. Okay, so there's only the one god to look after in terms of gifting homage. And these guys here, uh, military, three military guys, I think. Guandi, yeah, god of war. 
So we've got uh, Sun Tzu, who can attack. We've got this guy who can only defend. He can't actually be sent off to attack. And, uh, and this guy here is military as well. Shenlong is not military. No. So we've got three military guys here. And Shenlong, the farming god, who I think will come in very handy here. He can... Uh, growth of each field tile and requests hemp. I oh, know, and, and blesses hemp. Da, 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 da. Okay, so he could be useful. Shen Nong in the city will be very, very helpful for this mission. Other than that, I think I'm going to have to just figure out how to approach it and uh, come back later, I guess. Okay, guys, this is the layout. We've actually got quite a lot of houses here, so we're going to well and truly overstrip that population requirement, so I'm not particularly bothered there. It's also going to give us a very, very good uh, production capability in terms of uh, the number of workers we need for these farms. I've been thinking, I don't know roughly how many we're going to need, but this is a lot of food. Like it's, it's A mill is 32, so it's to fill up um, more than a mill, in this case one and a half mills or one and a half warehouses per year. And I mean, I only have to do it for one year, so I could theoretically focus only on cabbage, tick that little box, and then switch over to wheat, focus only on wheat, tick that little box, and then only do millet. So that is one possible way of doing it. But um, I, I'm going to try to do them all at least roughly at the same time, build them up in equal amounts. If it doesn't work that way, then, uh, then I suppose we can figure that problem out later. Now... I've got this little central distribution area here. This will handle all the goods I'm going to require as necessary because I can't, I mean, this is a nice little area for farming up here, but I can't irrigate up a hill as far as I'm aware. I don't think I can place a water pump on the edge there, no. So you can't bring water up here, and then pump it up to a higher level. It's only got this one ground level here that I can actually irrigate. So I will keep that in mind. Um, there's no space for an admin city, so I'm going to have to place one over here somewhere. It's not going to be built into the city, simply because I needed all the space available. But, uh, you know, maybe I'll get creative later on. I don't know how I'm going to approach this one completely just yet. But we've got enough uh, early area here for our farms to get started. And who knows when we'll put up there. Can I put warehouses? Yes, I can put more warehouses here as required. Uh, that's odd. So there it'll work. Here it won't work because it's only got the cliffs on one side. Got these uh, warehouses of pain in the ass to put down. But for the most part, everything is feng shui friendly. It's not perfect. It's uh, decent. Actually, it's worse than I thought. But um, I just threw down houses in the end because, you know, I had all this extra rock feng shui. If I really cared, I probably could do it better. But again, I don't really care. It's, it's not a... Um, it doesn't make a good looking city. Feng shui doesn't make a city that looks good. It makes one that looks... Uh, weird, which is, is not a game mechanic I like. Either way, um, we need to keep the trees around is the problem. I've had to clear a fair few trees here just to make space, but I don't want to clear too many more because we're going to need the feng shui for, um, for, not feng shui, we're going to need the timber for lacquerware. Um, I'm also concerned we're going to have a bigger earthquake or something. We've had a lot of them recently, so I'm going to hope that we don't get any more earthquakes in this, like, big mountainous region. So we're sort of heading into, um, I suppose we're heading off towards the mountains, the Himalaya, Himalayan ranges or something. So hopefully no more earthquakes going to come and screw things up. And uh, we'll see how we go. Okay, Chang'an has become an ally. That was a little bit unexpected. I uh, haven't even sent off all the people just yet, but they will buy lacquerware and carve jade, which means I can... Actually, let's have a quick look what... Um, I'll let people continue trickling in. I've got uh, paper makers and I can't make carved jade. There's no point there. There is salt, actually steel furnaces. I didn't even look around for that. Oh, look here, right here. Iron, right there. That's brilliant. Perhaps I should um, focus on weapons or something. Probably going to be useful, actually, because the Lhasa is over there. So I'm going to have to consider making some steel. You won't buy weapons. Uh, you'll buy paper, which can be handy. Um, and lacquerware. Carved jade I can't make. Rice I can't grow. It's nothing particular. Although silk, I could go silk and uh, and sell that off to Kashgar at a higher price. Doesn't make me a huge amount of money, but it uh, doesn't take a huge amount of workers either. I'm going to wait until I see what the other guys come back with though. And I'm going to have to consider weapons in the near future, especially if they're going to be profitable. But I think paper will be something I can do as well. 
Okay, trade with Chengdu has opened up, trade with Changzhou and the Yen has rejected, oh, and Guangzhou, that's brilliant. Let's have a quick look at these guys. So Yen will buy lacquerware, T is irrelevant and those two are irrelevant. So I can produce lacquerware and gift it to them if I need more buyers. They will buy two types of food, which is good, and they will sell me lacquer. So I don't have to waste my space growing lacquer. That could be valuable actually, all I need now is the timber. Um, Guangzhou will buy wheat, oh wait, hang on, wheat, millet and lacquerware, so it looks like lacquerware is the big export for this mission, but I don't really have the space to grow it. Um, and you guys, you will, okay, so you'll sell me more lacquer and you'll sell me lacquer, that's good. So two people will sell me lacquer, which is great, I can use that and just cut the timber myself. The, um... Millet, cabbage, so a few people buy food as well, which is handy. I'm going to have to figure out how I want to structure this, but I think lacquerware is going to be where I make my cash. Nobody seems to be buying uh, weapons at all, or steel for that point, that matter. A small amount of paper can be sold at, uh, I think it's 120 or something like that. So it's not particularly, uh, it's not a huge amount of money, but it's not like it's a, a cheap good either. So I can make a bit of cash off that. And again, Lhasa has yet to open up. So we'll see how we go. But first of all, we need to get our food going. Uh, August, July, July. Oh, hang on, so they're growing right now. So there's no staff. So I could, I could turn one of them off and just see if the workers come in enough. Um, Let's put you at a slightly higher priority as well. So we can start the growing process. And uh, 32, there's only one working. What could possibly be using, they only use 22 workers, don't they? So what could else, part ah, this here. So the irrigation pump is using some workers as well. Okay, that's fine. So as these guys move in, I can start to level it all up and they need water to evolve further so perhaps I am better off focusing on I oh, know safety is good so I think we're gonna keep leveling up nicely okay the food harvest is coming in we have all the workers that we need so I'm gonna turn the hemp industry back on I think we've missed it for this year uh, it begins in April so it'll be early next year we missed it for last year anyway so that's fine uh, and the food is beginning to come in with that what I can do is feed our first block here. I'm only going to feed them plain food to begin with. Oh, sorry, uh, bland food to begin with because they can't evolve with plain food because they also require hemp. So that can come at a later date. So I'll start them off on the low stuff and we will uh, wait for next year to level them up further. Okay, the first year has finished. Let's have a look what we produced. We produced 22 baskets of cabbage, uh, no wheat because we missed the season, and 14 bundles of millet. I wonder if that is... That's to do with the fact that millet came in just as we were. So wheat we missed out entirely. Wheat's actually this one, I think, yep. So wheat we missed out because we didn't have workers in time. The millet came on part way through and we had some workers and the cabbage had all the workers required. So I'm assuming we can make about 22. So I should only need possibly another two more farms, maybe three more maximums. So that's actually not difficult at all. Not difficult at all. I have one, two, three in here. They probably won't be fully squared out like that, but I can get most of them in. I'll fit in as much as possible. And that should be sufficient to win the mission. So, uh, theoretically, I can do this next year. Population will go up. Um, I'll need hemp and probably ceramics to go any further. And then, of course, I can just produce everything there. So, is it worthwhile? The question now is, can I rush for the end or is it worthwhile setting up an industry? Um, I think I'm going to focus on lacquerware regardless. I can just import the lacquer here and uh, and then export it straight out with cutting down these trees here. Is there access up here? No, there isn't. So these trees, they're going to have to come right round to get them, uh, which is not necessarily a bad thing. Let's go right round up here. So the wood, wood cutting will have to be over here somewhere and all the lacquer processing over there. Okay, we are nicely set up now. We don't have the workers not by a long long shot So that's gonna have to come in over time, but of course industry is the lower priority So it'll tick over gradually 
And then as we get more workers, it will start to ramp up in speed. So I'm not particularly bothered with that. These workers are a luxury rather than a necessity. So that's probably not going to be enough wood here. We're going to have to throw more woodcutters down here. But, um, ooh, lack of festivals. That could be a concern. I need to keep people happy. Let's throw down a sneaky music school there. And we'll have to throw an acrobat school uh, somewhere that I can... Um, I might have to work, move this guy here a little bit further, but acrobats can come at a later date. We can still have festivals now with musicians. So I'm going to need more um, more of these guys, but that's going to require more workers, which will come in time. It looks like we've actually got enough food going in now, so I'm going to move you up to plain food. I'm going to throw a food shop down here, make you plain food as well. And, uh, and as the hemp begins to come in, which will be coming in very, very shortly, in another couple of seasons, then uh, oh, another season, then we'll have uh, the hemp to level these guys up further, and the next step will be uh, will be what's the word? Ceramics. So I'll have to figure out how to do that somewhere. Well, there we go. There are the additional farms down. We're probably not going to get anything because we've missed the wheat season, but it should give us a rough idea if we can get the other two as well. Uh, again, we're probably not going to get millet because most of the millet season is already past. But uh, we'll see if we can get most of the cabbage at least. Uh, workers are currently good. Industry is only short by about 40%. And, uh, oops, yeah, of course, I need to actually sell the lacquerware. That would help. Lacquerware and lacquerware. So, they're the imports, they're the exports, all the industry in the center here. We're going to require more of that. But the cash should come rolling in very, very shortly. And here we go. Lhasa has greeted the world. The leadership of Trisong de Tsen, which I'm assuming is a Tibetan name. Lhasa, Lhasa, what do you do? Let's open trade with you and see if you'll actually do anything. Uh, most likely you're going to be pissed off at us, but um, maybe we can gift you, maybe we can bribe you, maybe we can build our military. I'm not sure exactly what will happen just yet. Uh, most likely what will happen is we will win the mission before anything actually happens. Now, I can double my population by the looks of things, which will mean I have sufficient population in these two blocks without providing ceramics. Uh, workers will be good. I can always expand by adding more timber cutters if required. And the farms here are perfect. So, having said that, I haven't even gifted Shen Nong yet. Let's go and give him a nice big chunk of hemp just to uh, keep him on side. We are going to probably win this mission, assuming nothing goes horribly, horribly wrong in the near future. Uh, I'll be able to tell within another two or three months exactly what our production for the previous year was. Okay, we've already met the cabbage production. We got 39 baskets of cabbage, and that was because we quite we had the uh, this one up here working, producing cabbage in time, which makes me think 39. We're probably going to be short of wheat. If we can only produce say 30 or 40, we're going to need another wheat farm in order to get that this year. Uh, the millet should be fine, maybe. Although millet may even be producing less. So let's work on getting another wheat farm up and running quick smart. I think I can throw that over here very, very easily. So let's get that done and I'll cut back. Uh, okay, that's nicely set up. It's also been irrigated. Lhasa has rejected the trade agreement, which was a good timing. And they buy wheat, silk and millet. So on that note, let's give them a big chunk of... Well, we've got a lot of cabbage. But we don't have enough of the others because I'm exporting them probably. So for the time being, um, well, let's just grow this and see what happens. We need we need a fair bit of stuff. The population is still streaming in and unemployment is beginning to increase. So with that, I think it's worthwhile starting on getting a bunch of um, dudes over here to absorb that unemployment. You are in the way. Let's take that out and get some beautiful feng shui. And of course, we're gonna need the oh, woodcutters. Oh, fuck this shit. Okay, let's put you guys back here. That'll work there. Cut a little bit out, and we'll be back. Okay, foreign emissary. Let's have a look at them. They are giving us a helping hand of cash. That is odd. I thought we had lots of cash, but it appears that the ah the recent lacquer imports have cut that right down. Doesn't matter. We've got all the workers going over here. Needs millet. You can have that millet. Uh, all the workers are coming in and they're cutting all those beautiful, beautiful timber down and that'll allow us to make the lacquerware. So we should start getting well and truly back out of the red. Uh, 2,000 people means we've won that. And assuming that we've produced enough this season, so there's quite a lot of stuff here, it may even be worth my while to 
to throw down a storage yard up here somewhere that will accept um, millet and wheat because these guys are going to have to travel a long long way down to offload all that stuff so I'm going to throw some storage yards up here just to make sure it all works and I decided against that in the end simply because it'll probably mean that these guys will start walking up here and delivering it up there so we'll just keep it as per normal and if it doesn't work then I'll have to perhaps disconnect here and, uh, and see if I can do it that way in fact, disconnecting it may be a better idea. But uh, if it doesn't work this year, we can always do it the next year. Let's just keep our unemployment is a little bit high. So I was in the process of throwing down a mint. So some nice, beautiful stuff over here. I can throw down a mint if I can find it. Let's throw you um, there, I suppose. And a little inspector's tower to absorb yet more unemployment. Now that will give me a bit more cash as well, as ticking things over. I've also found out recently mints will uh, will boost the amount of cash from trade. I'm sure I've looked at this before, but uh, I believe it's 3% per trade item, which over the course of a mission could be several thousand strings of cash. So it doesn't actually sound like a lot, but 3% is pretty good. It looks like they're not getting workers, which means I'm going to need to find out why that is. Huh. So there's no way over here. I've got a bridge over here somewhere. Fair enough. I can do that quite easily. I'll just throw down a uh, water crossing over here somewhere. Are you kidding me? It can't be done. Uh, hmm. I'm not sure if we can get across here. In which case that copper is not meant to be got at. So there's no way to get up here. It means that's the only access point there and here. So, oh there you go. Does that give me access? I don't think so. Mm. No, it's going straight into those rocks. That won't give me access. If it went through the rocks, they'd be able to go through that way. So, I may have to throw down a ferry. Assuming I can find... A ferry landing, there we go. Throw a little bit of uh, road down, and we'll be all sorted. And immediately after that cut, Lhasa has become a hostile. So let's have a quick figure out what we can do here. They're going to want a hostile, so they're going to want millet uh, or wheat. I've got enough wheat, and I should have enough millet, and I've got no millet at all. So I'll give them a huge big chunk of wheat and see if that makes them happy again. I just want to get back to, there we go, I have to be facing north in order to keep my orientation. So a shit ton of wheat here sitting around. Uh, looks like we can also give a lot to Shen Nong, give him a big chunk of wheat. And are probably even worthwhile bringing him on board to bless some of my farms, because I've got more than enough wheat backing up here. We need to start delivering the other foodstuffs as well, so... Yeah, hopefully we've got enough production here in the one year. At this point it's running into storage issues, so I need to start getting rid of it as quickly as possible. So, I know I did open these up before, but I turned them off temporarily because uh, because I didn't want them to take everything that I was going to be giving away. But wheat and millet should be pretty good here. Okay, now all the millet stuff is pouring in. I need to start giving this stuff away as well, so we can uh, we can open up enough storage to keep accepting the millet. Because I'm not sure if uh, if production needs to be stored in the warehouse for it to count, or if it can just go. Uh, oh, actually, I'm going to pause it now because we're on January, so I'm not sure if uh, it has to be stored in the warehouse or if it can just sit here idly to count as having produced it in the year. Uh, either way, we're going to find out in the next month whether I've done it. So it's going to tick over as soon as that month goes. If I've won, we'll jump straight into the winning screen and I won't have a chance to talk again. So let's see what happens. Well done, noble administrator. The bountiful harvest from the fields of Lanzhou have helped to alleviate the terrible hunger that only a few years ago tightened the bellies of our people. Even your handling of the volatile Tibetan situation proved to be a wise course of action. Unfortunately, I fear this is not the last we will see of those ruthless barbarians. Well, there we go, guys. Ticked over before I had a chance to do anything else. So that is brilliant. We've gone into, um, hasn't actually changed up the top right, into February. But uh, you guys won't be able to see that. 
but we've ticked over. We've produced an absolute shit ton. Wow, cabbage was a low, but that's only because I didn't add any dedicated farms to that. So the, the upper farms, the very top new farms I put in were just wheat and millet. You can see we've skyrocketed in our production about 83 and 73 respectively. Now, of course, population 50, no, 25% more than was required. And uh, yeah, we didn't even have to deal with Tibet. All I did was pay them off with a little bit of food. Not that that would have likely stopped them from invading me. But anyway, guys, I've been Bielek said This has been Emperor. We've smashed out yet another mission, which if you do indeed enjoy, hit that thumbs up button and uh, let me know. Put my search ranking up in the YouTube, YouTube algorithm. And if you don't like it, well, thumbs down button is there waiting, but at least drop a comment and let me know how you think I can improve. Take care, guys. I'll see you around.